folks find out that I'm a dog trainer and an avid hiker, one of the first questions they always ask me is, how do you teach a dog to come when they're called, even when they're around wildlife like deer, squirrels, and, and they want to chase those things? First question I always ask them is, does your dog like to play with toys? Because if the answer is yes, there's a good chance I can show them how to do that. Yes. When your dog is chasing a squirrel, a deer, or other wildlife, they're in what's called prey drive. It's very hard to suppress a drive or to stop a drive, but you can replace that drive with something else, and that's where toys come into play. Because I can control the toys, I can take my dog, help put them into that prey drive, and then use those toys to create the behaviors that I want which is to be able to interrupt my dog while they're in chase mode and have them respond to what I'm asking. Most all working, sporting, and hunting breeds of dogs have been bred to use these drives to help aid man in doing tasks and work. That means that most of them do possess the ability to learn how to control these drives to be able to be trained to do tasks for us. The more independent that job they were bred to do is, the harder it's going to be to actually influence their drives. So breeds like terriers that were bred to dive into a hole and take care of that prey on their own are definitely going to be a lot more difficult to train to have a great come command than a border collie who's trained to watch their handler very closely while doing their job. So keep that in mind to keep your expectations in check. That being said, you still can train all the different breeds to have a great come command if you can find the secret to their motivation, which is often to take that prey drive and to turn the idea around that you possess the ability to make that happen at the drop of a hat. So if your terrier knows that at any moment you may whip out something that's like a nice little furry squirrel to, for them to play with, you still can cut through their drives. When people tell me that their dog doesn't play with toys, I automatically know that we're going to have a hard time teaching that dog to have a great come command. We may be able to get them to have a decent come command using food as a motivation, but it's never going to be as good as if that dog had a great play drive. Food drive is an entirely different thing than prey drive. There are a lot of dogs that when they are in chase mode can't even think about eating. They're too excited for that. So a treat isn't going to cut through that desire when the dog is in full chase mode after a squirrel. Yeah. Also, when people tell me their dog doesn't like to play, it makes me think that maybe they haven't spent a lot of time trying to figure out what their dog is motivated by, because most all dogs like to play. You may just not have figured out the game they like to play yet, if it's not the standard retrieving a ball, like some dogs just come automatically, or playing tug of war. Sometimes you have to get creative to figure out how a dog likes to play before you can use it as a tool. When I bring a new puppy home or a dog in for training, one of the very first things I do is sit down and figure out how that dog likes to play so that I can use that play to help in my training. Once you know how your dog likes to play, you can take that play, build the relationship between the two of you and bond, and figure out what's fun for you both. You then can take that and shape it into whatever kind of play you'd like it to be. As you can see, Emily has an excellent retrieve. That's not something that she came with naturally. The, the chase the ball was there, but the bring the ball back was not. And that's something that we created through further training. If you become your dog's favorite playmate, and you know all the, t the games they like to play the best and their favorite toys, you then can become the prey that's out there in the world instead of them looking to squirrels and deer and such. And toys are everywhere once you figure out how to play with your dog. As you can see, Emily has a lovely retrieve. She'll do this whether it's pine cones, sticks, or anything I may pick up what I found on the ground. That way I don't have to worry about always having treats in my pocket. So go on out there with some toys and your dog and figure out how they like to play. In future videos, I'll show you the training process broken down into smaller steps. Oh.